Michael J. Fox, 61, became a breakout star in Family Ties before appearing as Dean Time Traveler Marty McFly in 1985's Back to the Future. Speaking in a new interview, Michael has admitted he doesn't think a reboot of the famous franchise would be a good idea, having retired from acting in 2021. He told Variety, I don't think it needs rebooting because are you going to clarify something? You're going to find a better way to tell the story? I doubt it. Michael continued, I'm not fanatical. Do what you want. It's your movie. I got paid already. The first film was a huge critical and commercial success, earning more than $380 million at the box office worldwide. Michael then reprised the role for a second film which was praised by credits, with the third installment, Back to the Future, Part 3, released in 1989, becoming the highest grossing of the franchise. It worked out well for Michael only having three films as he wasn't sure if he would have been able to participate in a fourth due to his Parkinson's diagnosis. He revealed, I was in the early stages of Parkinson's at that point, so I don't know that I would have wanted to take that on. Lisa Snowden suffered miscarriage live on air hours after partner attacked her, Insight, Eamon Holmes opens up on health dramas and says every day is a struggle, health, Holly Willoughby breaks silence as this morning future is confirmed, comment, right after part 3 had done well, there might have been conversations about it, but I never got involved in them. He was diagnosed with Parkinson's, a disorder that affects the central nervous system and affects movement in 1991. Michael didn't go public with his diagnosis for another seven years, with his tremor in his left hand leaving him no choice but to come clean. The Hollywood star hopes his new documentary, Still, a Michael J. Fox movie, will shed light on the difficulties he grapples with daily. Speaking at a press conference, Michael admitted that before working on the project, he had no idea how frequently he fell over or his face drooped. The Teen Wolf actor was asked as reported by Far Out, You've always been public about your struggles with Parkinson's, but was there anything in this film you were more hesitant to reveal about living with your condition? Michael replied, I don't know if I was hesitant to reveal it, but when I saw it, it was shocking to me, I understand the idea of my face going blank or lacking expression, I don't always know what I look like. That doesn't bother me, but it's a shock when you see it. People say, I saw you stumbling in the room, falling over, it was really shocking. Like, you were shocked? It freaked the ST out of me. I didn't expect to fall over the furniture, 